Welcome to another edition of MassCAC Student Athlete Spotlight, where each week we highlight an amazing student athlete or student athletes from around the conference. My name is Emily Liu, MassCAC Assistant Commissioner, and speaking with me today from Fitchburg State Women's Basketball are Stephanie and Katie Hart. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> what would you say is your greatest influence on how you got into basketball? Yeah, so I'll start off because I started playing basketball first. Um, I didn't have a certain person as an influence. It was more of I just wanted to play a sport. And both of us started a little bit late. So I think I started in third or fourth grade. And I just saw all of like the big yellow flyers around the school, like sign up for recreational basketball. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to play a sport. Like, this is so exciting. And it just happened that basketball was the next sport that was in season. So every day for like a week, I brought home the flyer to my parents and I begged them to let me play basketball. And finally they did. So that's how it all kind of started. Um, and for me, I didn't start playing until six, sixth grade. And I went to all of Katie's practices and games. Like practices were crazy at seven in the morning. I don't know why. And all of the coaches and Katie and everybody were like, just play. And I was like, okay, fine. And then here we are. <laughs> well, there you go. So, so which one? Now? Uh, okay. Which one of you is technically older? I am actually older by one minute. Stephanie was supposed to be older, but I flipped over her in the womb and came out first. So it's always been a competition from the start. I was going to say, while wow, you were competitive before you, yeah. before you were even officially born. That's amazing. Right, so, right. <laughs> um, did you play any other sports growing up? We didn't play any other sports um, like with the school, but we did play a lot of the uh, unified sports. So we did unified bocce. We did unified basketball and our school also had unified track. So that was really cool that we were able to offer um, our talents, I guess, into other aspects of sports that aren't as traditional as other people. Yeah, that is amazing and wonderful. And especially because in Division three, we have, you know, a partnership with Special Olympics throughout the division. So that's amazing. You were already doing that before you even got to college. So that's wonderful. Right. All right, so speaking of college, which one of you decided that you wanted to attend Fitchburg first, or was it kind of a, you both decided to go together? So I went to Fitchburg first. Katie went to, officially went to Regis first. Okay. Um, and then she transferred, when did you transfer? I've been at Fitchburg for about a year now. Yeah. Okay. So um, Stephanie, what was it that first drew you to Fitchburg? I think just the combination of the program, the nursing program and the basketball program, and then being able to commute instead of living on campus because I wanted to live at home. So just all of those things combined. Um, yeah. Yeah, for me, I did transfer. I started out at Regis College and I was there for three semesters. And then I transferred here to Fitchburg uh, last spring. Mm -hmm. So what really, I was living at campus at Regis and what really drew me here to Fitchburg was they have a great exercise science program. I wanted to save a little bit of money going from a private school to a state school uh, by commuting. And uh, just a small community, like in high school, we had a really small class, about 75, 80 people. And I wanted to keep that within my college career. So we have a pretty small campus here, which suits us very well. All right. So let's let's talk a little bit about basketball, a little bit more about basketball. Sure. So obviously you all have the extremely unique experience of not only playing in college, but also you get to play with your sister on your team. So what has that experience been like for the, the both of you? Yeah, so us playing together, is it just comes natural. We've been playing together for as long as Stephanie started playing basketball. So we've been on a team <laughs> together for many years now. So it's very natural for us to be playing together. It's also really fun because Stephanie plays more of a uh, like forward center position and I play a guard position. So uh, I feel like we have a good connection on the court. Like we can get the nice give and goes and pick and rolls and we know how each other plays. So mm -hmm. that's a lot of fun. 
but also like just having someone that you know is always going to be there after practice, before practice, even during practice. So having that built-in person to be there with you all the time is just a special thing. I got nothing to add on that. <laughs> <laughs> she summed it up perfectly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that kind of answers my next question. And Stephanie, maybe you can answer it. So do you feel like it makes it easier then competing together than per se harder? Yeah, I think it's easier just, especially because we play different positions. I think if we played the same position, we'd be like butting heads all the time because we're so competitive, but um, just being able to play together and incorporate that within the team makes it easier. All right, let's, let's switch gears again. We're gonna go to the academic side of things. And Stephanie, you mentioned you're a nursing major and obviously that kind of lends itself to what you wanna do after college, but is there a sp specific job or a place you would like to work? Or you, know, you can be as specific or general as you wanna be, or maybe you don't know, but just talk about your future career plans. Yeah, so I kinda wanna be somewhere more like fast pace, like the ER, the ICU, um, and with a lot of teamwork so I can incorporate what I've learned through playing basketball into my career. Um, so I don't lose those teamwork skills. Um, if I don't end up there, then we'll see, but that's the plan. <laughs> okay. All right. So, and Katie, you mentioned exercise and health science. That's something that brought you to Fitchburg. So what are you hoping to do once graduation is upon you? Yeah, so at Fitchburg, I'm on a pre-physical therapy track. Uh, throughout my years of basketball, I've had a couple of surgeries, which have really influenced my PT track direction. Working with great physical therapists has really shaped my career path. So I'd like to work in a similar situation to that where I'm either working in orthopedics or sports rehabilitation, but I really do want to keep, like Stephanie was saying, that same thing, the tight community, the teamwork, all the aspects that I've learned from basketball really shape to the environment I want to be in for my career. So physical therapy is what I have in mind for now. Is it just a coincidence that you both want to go into the medical field or semi-medical field or has this always kind of been where you both wanted to go? Yeah, it actually runs in our family. Our mom is a nurse. Uh, she works on a psych unit and our dad is a firefighter and an EMT. He actually just retired. So shout out to my dad. Congratulations <laughs> on retiring. But yeah, so uh, and even before that, our great grandfather was a doctor. He ran a practice actually out of his own home. So mm -hmm. working in the medical field and helping other people has been a huge part of our family. Uh, and it's translated to both of us. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. That that definitely has a long line of um, medical. And congratulations on your retirement, Mr. Hart. We hope you find some fun stuff to do besides going to watch the girls play uh, <laughs> playing some basketball. So. <laughs> In case you didn't know, this year is the 50th anniversary of Division Three. So can you both share what ha what it has meant to you to be a part of a Division Three or being a part of Division Three as a student athlete? Um, I think for me, just being able to pursue a nursing career, like and being able to focus on my nursing career as well as being able to play basketball. Because I know once you go into like Division Two, II, Division One, it gets a little harder to balance both academics and athletics with such a high pace track um so it's nice to be able to do both um yeah that's for me yeah and for me like I know that a very small percentage of athletes are even able to move on to college sports mm -hmm. at any of the three levels I think it's seven percent something like that's very small so just the fact that we're able to move on to the next level and play another four years of basketball is I'm just so grateful for that opportunity but also um like we were saying like being in the world without being on a team and having the family and working in a sports environment would it would feel so weird like we're so <laughs> used to being part of a team and having um teammates as family and all of our teammates are our best friends. So without being in an environment like that, uh, it, I feel like it would be hard to do that if we weren't in a D3 environment. So we're really able to uh, incorporate, you know, the balance between all of that. Awesome. And hashtag YD3 for sure. No, that's, that's wonderful great. to hear. And we're, we're obviously glad you still have some time. You're both juniors. So you have some time before you're done. 
but it's amazing to hear that you've had such a positive experience in division three, which we're very grateful for. So, all right, we're gonna ask some fun questions now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you, you have your twin abilities, so you can decide who goes first on each one. But <laughs> favorite brand of basketball shoe? I've gone through a lot of different basketball shoes. Uh, right now I have Kevin Durant uh, shoes. Oh, and I like them, here, okay. but I have to say my favorite basketball shoe were the Nike Hyperdunks, which they discontinued. So mm -hmm. all growing up, I had those shoes and they were just awesome. So Nike, please bring them back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big shoe person. I just kind of wear what I like at the time. <laughs> You've had LeBrons. Oh, yeah. Past those, are okay. seasons, so. those are okay. Those are okay. Yeah. Spoken like a true forward or center who just wants to get the job done. Guards need a little <laughs> more movement to move around move around the uh you know front court. So there you go. All right. Yep. Indoor or outdoor basketball. I had a good time in outdoor yeah. basketball. Outdoor basketball was a lot of fun. Um, um I'm gonna go with indoor that just yeah, because indoor, it's a classic yeah. that's when the basketball season's going on but I give a lot of credit to outdoor basketball because I feel like especially us growing up in a small town we spent a lot of time at our uh, community's courts mm -hmm. uh, playing with our summer league team or playing with friends just playing pickup games so both of them are really important <laughs> but I have to go with the classic indoor <laughs> yeah same you don't get the uneven like <laughs> pavement <laughs> yeah and the double rims. Double rims are tough. Oh, Those are yeah. you get a ball back to the face trying to rebound. Not, not was not a fan of that growing up. So oh, I'm yeah. with you on indoor for sure. And there's no wind to factor in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Favorite pro pro player, and it could be a male or a female. Or if you want to give me both, if you have one on in each gender. I like Sabrina Ionescu. I like her influence on the game. Just like having her own line of shoe and everything like that. Um, you're next. <laughs> it's so hard to pick this. Um, <laughs> I really like Marcus Smart mm. because I like his um, his willpower, his motivation, and he just works so hard. Like, and that's what I want in my game is like no matter how things are going, as long as I work hard, that's like the biggest factor for me. So I think that he's been a big influence in term of work ethic. All right. I like both of those answers. I think those mm -hmm. are a great uh, people to look up to in the game. So, okay, this is not basketball related unless you want it to be, but if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Oh God. And you don't have to pay for it. I mean, it's free. We're just going to say Ooh, it's free. For free. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I'd like to go to Ireland just because I see all those nice pictures of like the rolling hills mm -hmm. and I'm a farm person. So I like the sheep and all that. So I think that would be really cool. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe Switzerland to look at the mountains. <laughs> That's a crazy answer. But no, like <laughs> Switzerland. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I bet it's beautiful. It's probably cold right now, but I bet you it's yeah, gorgeous. That's me. <laughs> oh, it's a great answer. I think both of them are great. I, I, yeah. I would be, it would be interesting if you had the same exact answer. So I like that oh, you yeah. both pick Europe, but you're in different. One of you is green rolling hills. The other one's, you know, snowy mountain peaks. So there yeah. you go. <laughs> All right. Last one. And maybe the most important Fitchburg state green or gold. Green. <laughs> there you go. There, I mean, that just says it right there. That, yeah. Um, I love our green uniforms. We actually got new uniforms this year, and I think our green ones look pretty sharp. Yeah. And I just yell, love to yell, like, let's go green. Like, I feel like it just flows really well. But, um, and green's also just my favorite color anyway. So, works out. Mm -hmm. uh, gold is cool too, but I, I don't know. I just don't like the, there's so many different shades. I just need it to be the same one. Same thing with green, but I don't know. It's, it's just better. <laughs> it's a very unique green it, it's kind of emerald green, but not really. It's yeah, it's, it's not, it's a very vibrant green. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 
Well, ladies, thank you so much for being here and taking the time to chat with me and, and get letting us get to know you. Yeah, yeah, it was our pleasure. Thank you for having us. And stay tuned next week for another edition of MassCAC Student Athlete Spotlight.